Tutorial Structured Cabling This tutorial will demonstrate how to create realistic structured cabling in Physical Workspace. First, click the Physical Mode tab. Navigate to the Corporate Office. You can change the cable run from a straight line to a complex bent line. To create a bend point, click on the cable and select Create Bend Point. The square dot shows where a bend point is made. You can use the square dot to move the cable run. Multiple cables can be grouped together. Move the bend points together to form a group. Clicking on a group cable creates a new group point. All cables can be moved as a single unit using group points. The cable should move in a group now. To differentiate the cable runs, you can color a cable by clicking on the cable in a non-grouped area. Pick a color for the cable. The cable run is now colored in the non-grouped areas. Use it to differentiate different cables when they are grouped. Cable grouped sections are always black. To ungroup a group point, click the Delete tool. Then select the group you wish to ungroup. Select whether to ungroup just a single cable or the entire group. Ungrouping one cable will take the single cable out of the group and leave the rest together. The Delete tool is also used to remove a bend point from a cable. The structured cabling is not just for looks. It can have an effect on the network, too. Ethernet cables have physical length limitations of 100 meters. A cable that is too long may not work. To see a cable's length, mouse over it. The information displayed contains what this cable is connected to, the section length, and the entire cable length. 
Moving closets or devices will change the cable length. The default behavior of Packet Tracer disables the effect of cable links. The effect can be enabled in the Preferences menu. Select the Enable Cable Links Effects checkbox to enable this effect. As you can see, these cables are longer than the specified maximum for a copper Ethernet cable. The ports are now down because the cables are too long. If we change the cable lengths to within the specified maximum length, the ports will go up again. As you can see, this cable is now within the specified maximum length for this copper Ethernet cable. The ports are now up again. This ends the structured cabling tutorial.